What is up? I'm Wine Turtle, and today we're going to talk about one of the Pokemon that just came out in the Japanese set, Dream League. Uh, not sure when it's going to be out in English, but I actually missed this one. Actually, I planned to do a video, but somehow I forgot. Um, so it is a new GX, Savali GX. So this thing is really cool. I feel like it um, kind of like replaces a lot of different cards, actually a couple of different cards together and has a lot of potential, not necessarily as a damage dealer, but as a really solid support that has some really good built-in uh, card draw engine. So let's go through it. Uh, so it is Savali, so it does evolve from type null, which is never ideal, but that should be fine. And so it is, um, also type null, ability disc reloads. This is really good. Once in your turn before you attack, you may draw cards from your deck until you have five cards in your hand. So it's very similar to um, Oranguru, only a little bit better. It's five cards instead of three. And that in itself is very good. It's kind of like a, um, a kind of like a nerfed Lily that you can do without, <laughs> without playing as a border. You could do it for free every turn via its ability. Uh, so that's really good. And, um, so kind of like some people that have been doing some comparisons. Actually, let's just go to the text room here real quick. So we have Buddy Brave, it's a weird name. Uh, double colorless, only one energy card you need is 50 damage. If you play a supporter during your turn, this attack does 70 more. Essentially, you will always use a supporter almost every single turn. So this is basically 120 damage for a DCE. And it's very similar to Zoroark <laughs> in that regard because Zoroark is very similar because you know he provided probably a little bit better card draw but um his tactics 120 assuming you had a full bench and then white knight gx and Cohen's active pokemon is ultra beast that pokemon is knocked out kind of situational but very good thing to just have the threat of and especially when its energy cost is the same as its regular attack so i feel like this thing could be used many ways uh and for example kind of like how Oranguru was used, where he never or very rarely attacked. Almost always, he's just chill on the bench uh, and use Instruct over and over again. And you know, granted, Oranguru was a basic, so it's a little bit easier to use than um, than Zorark. But Zorark, I mean, this thing was like meta defining for almost his entire lifetime in standard uh, with trade where you could just discard a card draw two cards I would say it's a little more flexible it's a little nicer when you have uh, like three of them on your in play versus like having multiples of valleys while you can leverage that I don't think there's like no use for three maybe two would be cool if you can really churn out if you have tons of trainers that you can just like churn out stuff uh, but probably like, you know, one is probably sufficient most of the time and then very similar again like Righteous Beating assuming you have a full bench does 120 damage um, So yeah, so Valley is a very good Pokemon and uh, so uh, let's just go over a couple of thoughts here. I think um, One thing is that it is a colorless Which means by default it can't do anything weakness damage um, And however he has a weakness so it's not in that regard, it's nothing, I would say it's kind of a slight disadvantage. He does have some flexibility in that you can still slap on his memory discs, uh, kind of like the fire one and electric one that are still in the standard rotation. Um, although by the time this card comes out, I'm not sure, but so there is some flexibility there to apply weaknesses, but out of the box, he will not be able to do that. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is a very solid Pokemon. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be your main damage dealer, like Reshizar will take this thing out in one hit anything that's fighting the same thing so you know it's definitely i feel like in a pinch he can go out and fight uh and very easily too with just the dce uh however his probably his sweet spot will just be sitting in the bench i think if you only you only need like one of these um if you have two you might be able to leverage it but maybe not uh so that's it just say i thought this card is really cool and i want to do a quick video about it but um yeah thanks for watching guys as always i'm one turtle and i'll catch you guys next time